are now back here at the stop of the Oxford Tube without the dog this time as you can see no no woolly boots on no dog he's back at home there's some nice sheep in the field there not reacting so I'm waiting for the bus the tube bus to go to Oxford to show you a little bit of Oxford hopefully that's the idea anyway This complex we're just passing on the way into Oxford is the Oxford Brookes University, which is one of two universities in Oxford. One is the Oxford University, the other is the Oxford Brookes University, which obviously, obviously it's... Um, Brookes University? In, uh, in Oxford they like to just call it Brookes University, in order not to get it confused with Oxford Brookes University. That shows the power of the real one, that they just call it Brookes University while it's in Oxford. But that's why, you know, countrywide they advertise themselves as Oxford Brooks. It makes it sound like part of Oxford University, like an Oxbridge place, but it's... I'm not saying it's a bad university, but it's... <coughs> it's a very good business school, you know, certainly better than average, I would say, still, for business schools with good programmes. So you get an education there, no doubt about it, if you want a business education. Some other things as well, no doubt. Um, but of course it's not the... Next up, St Clements. Not the, exactly the same as the uh, as Oxford University. So now we're getting down into... Uh, dipping down quite a steep hill into the middle of Oxford. Oxford, of course, being on the Thames, it's got um, a valley location. This is up on the area outside. This is now going down into the valley location where the old university is medieval university together with Cambridge, my university, one of the two best in the country. And of course the leading university of the world. Okay, we're next to Logic Lane. I got out of the uh, the bus there. I look like that. I don't know what happened to my scarf for those who didn't take it with me or it's just gone. So that's Logic Lane, University College, seem to have quite a lot of tourists around, unsurprisingly, including us this, this time. So uh, this is J1, J2 and J3 on that side were, were where I got off, I'm, I don't know obviously getting back how it will be whether whether they stop on that side somewhere, presumably they will. I'll have to check check it off on the. Uh, presumably, just goes shuttles backwards and forwards around the same kind of area. I think where I need to go is up that way. But first, I'm going to show you something down here. The Grand Cafe. Nice. Sounds very nice. I need to eat soon, actually, because it's eating time. But. Uh, Porter's Bell. Just wanted to show one thing on this bit. This is called High Street, isn't it? I get the impression that it is. That's what the guy said, anyway. So here we have examination schools, University of Oxford. Yeah? These schools are closed to tourists and visitors. You can't go in there as a as a so go rai ko sha ya something hikari okyaku hikari kyaku no tatsu chi hairi wa go something something ku Dasai means get the hell out of here in Japanese. So there's something in Chinese I can't really decipher that one. Obviously, client, the client verdict there. I don't know most of those particular things. Zhe at the beginning, zhe. Zhe is the probably zhe xie dai. 
Jashada something and then the colleges thing. Yeah, but I don't try and do much by way of Chinese. I should know Japanese better, but there's so much of it and so much aspects of learning any particular bit of it that it's hard. But one of the things I might try and do today is go and uh, see if I can see Blackwells. Just want to tell you something about my history of Oxford. I've been here twice, I think. Once was 30 years ago, going just basically trying to go to um, to Black Blackwells and get some books that I needed, just for studying, getting ready, and for college, my own university. Um, there's Merton Street, and uh, I'm not sure if that isn't Merton College. There, is it? I should know this. That was the second time I went. It was 12 years ago to my brother, uh, sorry, my sister-in-law, sister and brother-in-law's wedding, which was in Merton. Him being, of course, a don or whatever of uh, Merton. So uh, that's where it was in the in Merton's chapel. So. Uh, nice chess games and what have you. So I went there, although well, I can't remember it of course because I was concentrating on other matters and I was just following a crowd of people. So uh, because we all met somewhere out there and uh, came in together. There's a tourist centre there, probably, oh shit, there's no sound these bicycles. Um, there's a tourist centre there. Um, so I'll try and get a, a map. That's red, it says don't cross, so there's me crossing. Um, let's see if I can get a map of the environs or a city guide or something. There you go. That's Oxford in Chinese. You've got the ox there and a ford. You've got like the water there and the and the looks almost like a writing element there or something to take you across the ford. Here, Oxford. In Japanese, it's all in Oxford. Yeah. There's some French. You've got Oxford in normal letters. For most of the European languages, they don't try and change it into something that actually means an ox, like the Chinese do. It's hologramic postcards. Let's see if I can just get a very simple map in there um, in, uh, in English, just to, so I can get my bearings.